scientists have built a four-legged dog-sized robot with a virtual spinal cord that learned to walk from scratch in just an hour. This is an advancement that also sheds light on the biology behind the newborn's movements. The four-legged robot, Morty, described in the journal, Nature Machine Intelligence, optimizes patterns of movement faster than animals and learns to walk in about an hour, according to the scientist. In animals, the spinal muscle cooperation network helps take the first steps, but it takes time to learn the precise cooperation of the leg muscles and tendons, says researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems MPI is, in Germany. Research has shown that baby animals initially rely heavily on spinal cord reflexes from the mammary glands. A Labrador-sized robot has animal-like reflexes and uses complex leg mechanics and learning algorithms to learn to walk from its mistakes. Alexander Bedry Spruitz said in a statement, we can't easily search for the spinal cord of a living animal, but we can model one into a robot. In a four-legged robot, foot sensor data is constantly compared with target data from a typical virtual spinal cord that acts as a program in its computer. In the study, the researchers explained, he learns to walk by constantly comparing transmitted and expected sensor information, performing reflex loops, and adapting motor control patterns. The robot contains a central pattern generator, CPG, that works similar to neural networks in the spinal cord of animals that produce periodic muscle contractions without entering the brain. In animals, these nerve networks allow for the generation of rhythmic tasks, such as walking, blinking, or digesting. When young animals walk on a perfectly flat surface, these neural networks are sufficient to direct movement signals from the spinal cord, but a small bump in the ground can alter the gait. This is when reflexes intervene and regulate movement patterns to prevent the animal from falling. But in newborn animals, the researchers say, these nerves aren't initially tuned well enough, and the animals stumble, but quickly learn how these reflexes control the muscles and tendons of the legs. Dr. Badri Sprouts had said, we know these CPGs are found in many animals. We know that reflexes are embedded, but how can we combine both so that animals learn movements with reflexes and CPG? Scientists say Morty's CPG, simulated on a small, lightweight computer, controlling the motion of the robot's legs, also learns the same way. Sensor data from the robot's feet are continuously compared with the expected touchdown predicted by this virtual spinal cord. Mr. Rupert explained, data flows back from the sensors to the virtual spinal cord where sensor and CPG data are compared. If the sensor data does not match the expected data, the learning algorithm changes the walking behavior until the robot walks well and without stumbling. He added, changing the CPG output and tracking the robot's travels by keeping the reflexes active is an important part of the learning process. The learning algorithm changes the distance the leg swings back and forth, the speed of the leg swing, and how long the leg stays on the ground while the robot dog moves. Our robots are actually born without knowing anything about the structure and movement of their legs. CPG is similar to the built-in automatic walking intelligence provided by nature and handed over to robots, Rupert added. This is fundamental research at the intersection of robotics and biology. So guys, did you like this invention? Share your thoughts down in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get instant video notification. So guys that's it for now, see you in the next video.